So, here's the plan. We're gonna do dumb shit, and listen to dumb shit. Sound good? Yeah! Okay, so here's that first one I was telling you about. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. <laughs> A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. Nice. You wouldn't get this far. When other people try singing, this is how I this is how I hear them. It's like when people try to sing the national anthem at football games. Yeah, really. Okay. <laughs> Dank memes. I don't have a fucking cat. <laughs> okay, on to the on to the main course though. This shit. This is Jim Dale. Hopefully you'll have the sound balance. Yeah, I think I'm gonna turn down my game volume for this. Red for you, by Jim Day. Chapter one. In which rabbit stuff almost everything right in his ass and a stupid black nigger goes poo poo in bed. It was a perfect summer Never day, and the guy. forest was sparkling. It fuck? was July. Oh. The animals were very excited. They were playing a game called Licking the Massive Thing. Enormous black fat boner clean. All the animals sat on the ground and masturbated on Piglet's face. I won the game, said Piglet. There was some pretty nasty stuff in the Hundred Acre Wood. Pooh was staring at his large, succulent erection. He had never felt so horny in his entire life. Piglet, said Pooh. Oh, yes, Pooh, said Piglet. I wonder where Christopher Robin has been. Just at that moment, there was a whirring sound, and a clickety sound, and a pinging sound, and a pooping sound, and a pinging sound, and a gulping sound, and a farting sound, and a chitting sound, and a kissing sound, and a clapping sound, and a rapping sound, and a burping sound, and a crunching sound, and a pinging sound, and a pinging sound, and a pirate sound, and there he was. Christopher Robin, just as he had always been, except that he was a faggot. He looked at them all and said, Good morning, nigger. Then Christopher Robin There's led the animals back, back to his house. There Check. they had many hot and tight orgies. And it made you feel good just to look at it, and made you want to rub one off too. It. Christopher Robin was polishing his disgusting one eye, snaky trousers monster when the others arrived. Come indoors, Poo, and Piglet, and Owl, and Tigger, and Eeyore, and Kanga, and Roo, and Christopher Robin, said Christopher Robin, because I have something to show you all, and it's something very big indeed. When Christopher Robin had finished wiping the dollops of sperm off his fingers and onto his handkerchief, and off his handkerchief and back onto his fingers, and off his fingers and in his mouth, he handed Pooh the piece of paper. I won this at school, he said, for teasing the trout and shooting mites more than fifty yards. Piglet gaped open-mouthed at the sight of this feat. But it's bigger than I am, worried Piglet. Christopher Robin nodded. He had had it himself, and Christopher Robin said to Pooh, 
I've eaten a lot of peanuts and two surprisingly tasty testings, so I don't have room for the very fat homosexual bulldike midget Jewish handicapped Nazi nigger dick. I wondered, Pooh, whether you would be kind enough to eat it for me. And Pooh was kind enough, and did, and liked it very much. Eeyore looked down at Piglet's potted meat core. Oh, crisp and juicy. For crunchiness and fullness of flavor, there is nothing to beat Piglet's very fine purple penis. There was a very <laughs> long pause. My goodness, said Christopher Robin, looking at Eeyore. It's nearly time for a donkey punch. Then ah. Christopher Robin beat his fucking fist in Eeyore's face so violently that he ejaculated a golden shower Shit, of fucker. fucking pineapples. The awful thing was that you probably thought this was funny. But it isn't at all. Ever. I'm so done with this bullshit. You're just fucking gay faggots. And probably retarded. Oh, Listening okay. to stupid fucking recycled bullshit. From no, dirty probably not. Like this is fail. I think you should go shake your fucking pants and kill yourself instantly. Um... <clears throat> Meanwhile, these were the presents Christopher Robin had brought for the other animals. For himself, his own cum. Which they slurped before it turned dry and crusty. For Owl, a testicle case. In case he lost his testicles. Because, oh well, it would take too long to explain. For Piglet, <laughs> two fat, wet pink pussies. And a moldy penis. And it smelled a bit of moldy penis. For Roo, a bottle of magic mushrooms for his first day at school. For Kanga, a set of seven rubbery cocks, one for each day of the week. Eeyore did not know what a cock was or what it did, but it sounded necessary. For Tigger, a pogo stick, the butthole. For Rabbit, a book called 1001 Useful Hints for Spraying Christopher Robin with Rich Damp Shit. <laughs> for Eeyore, another huge asshole for farting from his front and back. And that's really difficult. For Pooh, water sports for removing the dirty poop from his bloody fucking bare boner. After that, the animals settled down and made the biggest lumps of shit ever seen in the Hundred Acre Wood. A huge mound of ass poop and shit, with masses of fresh feed called fun too. Surrounded by piles of old thick cheese. The turds came out in such a rush that Pooh made up a hum about it. This is the hum which Pooh hummed to Piglet on the day, which started like any other day and became a very special day indeed. If you want to shit, you must put it in the Piglet. In the shit, if it is shit, if it's shit, we in the shit. And you'll know when you have shit, you know how much shit you sit. Yes, you know what the amount is. And so therefore, you will die. And I hope you enjoy it. Have we finished now, Christopher Robin? Can we go home and nurse our bruises? Asked Eeyore. We finished the first half, Eeyore, said Christopher Robin. More is there? Might have guessed there would be. Still, maybe we'll all die painful. Oh. Wow. I know, it's great. I'd like to get the second one going, but I'm kind of busy. What are you? <laughs> Why? What? Fuck it. <laughs> where the hell is he? Uh oh, he's back from where we came from. Still has a fence. Shit! Behind. Yeah, I found him. Dude, I'm getting attacked, but I'm pretty sure it's fucking bulletproof zombie. I can't kill it. It's beating my ass. Where are you? Up on the top of the tower. Oh. Did I get it? Yeah. 
But I'm bleeding out. You won't get a fair time. Roast that bastard. You're a molly. Close I've got great footage of you, of you fighting Terry Crews. <laughs> Cap. Come on, Bubbles. You can do it. You can kill Terry. <laughs> Standing there is not the best way to do it, though, Bubbles. Well, time for part two. Cap. Dirty the poo and the hundred eight. Oh, I see why he ran away. Okay. Chapter two, in which Winnie the Pooh's large and extremely dangerous ass farts directly in all the animals' stupid faces, and everybody dies. Ha. Late one evening, a few days after this big adventure, when Piglet was thinking of going to bed with Jim Dale and thinking how nice it would be if he were already in bed, passionately making love with Jim Dale's hot, strong body and fucking it with all his might. Hells. And what a bore it was that he wasn't already in bed, sucking Jim Dale's epic level superb magic wizard staff of homo mancy with plus one a eh? now penetration. <laughs> there was a knock on the door. It was Pooh in bed. Sorry to come home so late, Piglet, but it takes time, you know. What does Pooh coming does, said Pooh. You think one is coming and it really wants to come, only it suddenly decides that it won't come until later. And maybe not even then. And then, Piglet, it comes all of a sudden and you have to be ready for it with a piece of paper. After that, a new game became popular in the forest. It was called Doing the Bitch. So Piglet got into his best sexual position, which he did by dropping to his knees, and he put his head between his legs and sat down twice with a bit of a bounce from side to side. But then it became wilder with much leaping up into the air. He tried lying on his back with his head on one side with a sign which read, Put in here, please but he did not know where to put his cock. So Piglet grabbed hold of it and shook it as hard as he dared. It fucking came right away and there was a splash and the shaft went limp very fast after the <laughs> massive wet, sticky ejaculation until there was another splash and Piglet found himself bobbing around on an ocean of glittering cork juice. <laughs> now he knew what had to be done. One. He splashed jizz over Rabbit, who released the balls of Bunny Poop over Eeyore, who splashed a handful of pubic hairs from his sweaty, aching donkey taint over Tigger, and Tigger emitted a ferocious fuck you, Eeyore, fuck you, long ears, fuck you, owl, fuck, fuck, fuck you, buddy, fuck you, Tibbles, fuck you, Mr. Paws, fuck you, George Bush, and Fuck you, too. <laughs> fuck my little pal. Fuck all of you kids out there. Fuck lots of people. And especially fuck you, Jim Dale. Then, <laughs> too, he made a fine sandcastle with his painfully expelled liquid feces. And it was hot and steamy. And then, three. He shouted at the very top of his little voice. Oh, Pooh! Fucky! Fucky! Wink! Fucky! And Fucky! And Pooh rubbed that part of him which was meant for great wanky fun, but which had been rubbed rather too much. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. And, 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 and. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh! Oh! Yes! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Up! 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 Mm. 
啊啊啊啊啊啊,啊 ！Yes！ 啊！嘟，棒，嗯，送，棒棒棒，棒棒棒，棒棒棒，棒棒棒，棒棒棒，棒Nobody could remember anything like it. <laughs> Have we finished now? Fucking no, Eeyore said. Christopher Robin, we finished the fucking second half. You stupid ass cunt. Really? More is there? You're not just saying that. Yes. It's nearly time for the third half. That's very kind of you. Of course, the grass is always greener on the other side of the forest. More chewy on the whole. Not the grass, but for my donkey ass. Thank you. A week ago, last Thursday, there was this. Hedgehog, but hedgehog. Nobody cares. Eeyore says Christopher Robin. Part three. This shit's retarded. Rip. I didn't die while I was tabbed out, did I? Uh, no, I think it's still alive. Poo. And the hundred acre ship pile. Chapter three. What? In which nothing happens oh, dude, I, at I all. I really like to stun myself with my shotgun. Really? Rip. I promise. Ah. Nobody could remember anything like it. All the animals were constantly bucking for forty days and forty nights, Protect and me, it kept getting hotter. Then it got even hotter. Christopher Robin was too hot for his own good. Then one day, which some said was the hottest yet, and others said was the hottest ever since time began, it got even hotter. Then one day, it got even hotter. So very hot that all the animals got even hotter. There, there, settle down, like everybody," yeah, sure. said Pooh. "It's time yeah. for assembly." From hell, Pooh's pupils lit up murderously with a shit, sudden shit, flaming shit. light. My very dear friend <laughs> told <laughs> me to tell you that the job for today is to die and make it as. Painful as possible. Oh shit! There is a tank. Then, with a great grunt, <laughs> the loudest, jumpiest, most harmonious, <laughs> and tumultuous fart came tumbling out of Pooh's enormous rear. <laughs> the sky was stained <laughs> bright the green south. with his poison fart. A dark, roiling mass of clouds spreading across the horizon, already huge and growing, growing fast. Yes. God can't help you now. <laughs> There was a loud rumble of thunder. Lightning flickered above the hundred-acre wood and shot toward the ground with accompanying explosions. Within seconds, the forest was lit on fire with a spectacular display of great flaming meteors of shit showering from the sky and raining death from above. Then, near the horizon, the moon came falling down slowly out of the sky, with the burning stream that cast mist skeet behind it, yeah. and was heading straight for the extremely fucked hundred-acre wood. I don't want to be here," said Piglet. "Go to sleep, Piglet," said Pooh, and glared at him so fiercely that Piglet's eyes melted like marshmallows all over his face. <laughs> At that moment, as gigantic geysers of boiling piss were billowing from under the crumpled earth, suddenly the hundred-acre wood came to life. Branches thick as a python smashed into a rabbit's chest, and his blood spurted over everything. The trees <laughs> were attacking them, pummeling every inch of the animals they could reach. With a loud ripping noise, rabbit's spine snapped almost in two. But the tip was dangling limply, held on by a few splinters. Then Pooh grinned with satisfaction as he drove his fist deep into Rabbit's ribs and pulled out his hand, grasping his tiny heart, beating. 
Rabbit went down on all fours, unable to breathe, the pain almost unendurable, and his intestines dripping with digestive juices burst suddenly from the gaping hole in his stomach and wrapped themselves around Piglet's neck, slowly <laughs> strangling the life out of his tiny body. It's like a fucking turd. A fire, which barbecue right. Piglet a delicious golden brown. Pooh raised Piglet's meaty grilled, took us to his mouth, and tore off a large hunk with his crooked brown teeth, chewing it open-mouthed, swallowing loudly. Yum, said Pooh, chewing. Ow, said Piglet, dying. Num, num, num. He ate another piece, what the fuck? and another, taking his time. Nan, said Pooh, suddenly whipping out a ginormous ninja swarm. Started to swing it in great circles above his head, and Roo got cut into strips which Pooh stuffed into Piglet's half-eaten carcass, which he forced Kanga to eat, covered in his own special Pooh Bear icing. Ah, says Christopher Robin, as another tree's twisted limb punched a large dent into his face so that it collapsed quite flat and a vicious uppercut from another branch pounded furiously on Kanga's cunt which seemed to be caving <laughs> then there was a puppy Ooh, I found an idiot and stick. for some strange Ooh, reason have it. Ron came suddenly okay, come here out to the top of the, the trailer it's gonna be he looked all around him and soiled his pants Oh, shit, we're done for. Run for it, Ron shouted, just in it? time to see the swarm of hairy S demon spiders just with skeet down. spraying mouth organs burrowed under Owl's skin and wriggled through into his brain, eating his face from the inside out. Ron shit his pants again, loudly, and the only plan he could come up with was to try to fly out. So he tried to escape by flying hacking, but started clipping through the floor instead, and got his pants banned by Jim Dale forever. Which was very good, because he had no friends and was a huge noob. Boring! <laughs> shouted Tigger. Pooh's eyes opened very wide, and he stared at him, exposing an upside down empty dram burning bright yellow in his eye. Nigger, please, said Pooh. Then he suddenly grabbed a baby rabbit and he bit off its head and drank the warm, glorious blood dripping from the lifeless corpse, savoring its sweetness as he swallowed. Then he rose up high, high into the air. Pooh raised his hands above his head, holding up in one hand the bloody severed head of David Benedictus, and started chanting the heart-stopping, soul-chilling, unholy chant, so that everybody knew that it was time to die. Then they all watched as it grew even darker, and the blackest of black holes appeared in the ground. Evil monkeys poured from the underworld and began beating offing and throwing dirty shit grenades in every direction. And no, I hit him. brandishing rusty razor sharp black metal sharp toes sharpened on the dicks of Christian children, and with heads filled with explosive cum leapt on all the animals and violently stabbed and sought on mice them all, tearing up every a now cavity with that specially homemade rectum ripping sex toys then burst open with the combined what the hell? A thousand suns blowing the animals to bits and leaving behind a crimson oh, cloud oh, oh. of liquefied pieces of bones blood and demonic sperm then more than a hundred very special retarded tyrannosaurs with massive Asperger's and down syndrome started rampaging around the place and breathing with their mouths open Christopher Robin didn't approve of it at all. I'm Christopher Robin and you're a huge tard, he said. Grinning stupidly, the Tyrannosaurus stuffed the evil monkeys whole into their large mouths. For a moment, they all chewed greedily, looks of triumph on their faces. Oh, but just sick. then a loud fart blasted evil monkey-shaped ships still shit? shooting out of their Tyrannosaurus <laughs> thinker over Christopher Robin's head with a big fat... <laughs> oh, oh, said the three-tarted saurus. 
And now it's getting worse, said Eeyore, as the four fucking horsemen of the stink apocalypse <laughs> came riding out of his butt, mounted on horses made from the devil's shit and at white, and they all raped <sighs> with their 666 fire breathing peanuts as so hard that blood and sperms spurted relentlessly out of the animal's orifices. All of them. Hey, dude, I'm Charger. Guy said smoked. Pooh gravely. Ah, uh, I've seen. I'm in cap. And then the world suddenly exploded, and everything was gone. All the animals died a horrible, slow death, suffocating from the smell of Pooh's asshole. But nobody minded because they all went to burning hell forever. <laughs> Which was much more exciting because Satan pwned them up there. Shit, hole, and Christ. Stag comic sized the end of Christopher Robin's fork skin Rip. with his fucking teeth. And God, boo cocky, a billion fabulous flavors of sperm over Tigger's face. He thought he had never tasted anything so delicious in all his life. Hooray! I've won! cried Tigger. Tigger's like. Come, Tiggers, like come very much. But Tigger, why? said Christopher Robin. Don't know, said Tigger, and he fucked off happily to bed. <laughs> with Jim Dale. <laughs> what the fuck? Right? I got a defib, turn around. What? I got a defib. Okay. Hey, that brings Booker back to life. Oh, you don't need to. There's a closet. I'm doing it anyway. Dub. I want to say I used the defib for the first time in forever. Well, that was thoroughly fucked up, though. Right? I'm so glad I decided against showing that to my coworkers. Yeah, I can see where that would have caused problems. Alright, next dumb video. Fully kicked. Hey, hey, boy. No. There's also Dirty Potter from the same guy. We'll do this versus. This is fucked up all to hell. Hey, hey, boy. Hey, hey, boy. It's time. It's time to read fun things. Come on. So, uh. I think my Left 4 Dead's crashed. How much do you know about uh -huh. incest? Oh, I only know the very basics. Oh, I hope this is an advanced yeah, guide. It's crashed. God damn it. This is... No, no, just go with your regular voice. Go. Okay. Fuck me. Kasuma's a tight looking slot. That's your left for dead better. wasn't able to That's handle the stupidity. A couple of years back. Oh, the old man got, got together with this Kasuma bitch. So now she's my stepmom. Oi! Joe Coon! Brack, he's yeah, up! Fucked. You slack cunt! <laughs> right, let's eat! <laughs> right, right <-o. laughs> You like that, mate? Well, she's so fucking hot. Any cunt who's not a complete faggot would want to fuck her. <laughs> well, that's that.